Okay, so day one in Geneva, kind of day one and a half. We got in last night uh, at like, our plane landed at like 7.40 and we waited in a line forever to get into Switzerland. I did not realize it was in the EU. I know that makes me sound stupid, whatever. I was confused. Um, and then we came into downtown Geneva. Lovely city, kind of. It's kind of weird. Um, I'm trying to think, Robert. Last night, what did we do for dinner? First place we went to, we went to dinner because I was so hungry. I was like, I'm going to gnaw my arm off if I don't go to dinner right now. And it was actually pretty good. It was pizza. Yeah, pizza and pasta. Remember, we got pasta. Um, and we walked around. It doesn't get dark, dark until like 1030. So we wandered until about 1030. And then we were like, oh, we probably should go to sleep. And then we woke up this morning and Dan and Arnaud had arrived. So we, they came and met us at the hotel. We walked to breakfast and then we wandered around and we went to the cathedral and then we went to the archaeological museum. archaeological museum under the cathedral. And then we just wandered a lot of the streets. We walked to like a market. Like 30,000 steps. Yeah, a lot of steps. My legs are dead. I'm very glad we're not doing the trail. Had a great breakfast. We did have a good breakfast. Yeah. I just said the breakfast part. Where did we go for lunch? Oh, lunch. We went to a place. Oh, yeah. My friend Faisal told me about or it like, took me last time I was here. It was like on a beach. We had fondue. Cheese, woohoo! Um, we it was wandered. Like in the lake, yeah. yeah, we wandered. Oh, the lake, sorry. And then we wandered some more. Wandered across. No, back we over. Went back up through the old town, and then we went to along the lake, and then went to like this really nice park. Oh, it had a beautiful rose garden, and we saw. What would you call that skate show? Well, yeah, but first we saw it had like a chateau in the in the garden. Yeah, it was like the the old estate. Was their ground. And I saw so many wiener babies. Literally and there'll, and so there'll be, many. There will be pictures of like a great rose garden as well. So beautiful. And I wish I'd taken videos of the wiener babies, but I was just too excited to run pictures. and snuggle them because they were all so beautiful. <sighs> They're so gorgeous. Obviously, none looked like Edelby. She's perfect. And then we watched the most like uncomfortable five it minutes. It was so cringy, y'all. It was these like roller skate no, no skateboarders. skateboarders and it was like this one skateboarder who was wearing suit pants and no shirt and had long hair and he was like doing this the music was very dramatic and he was like uh, running up and down the skate ramps but like being dramatically dramatic, and he like would like he would like jump off one of the little ones and lands like like a superhero like with his hand and like on the ground and like a superhero position you know like Yes, just think like Iron Man's landing or Superman's landing. And then he finally got a skateboard and like went up and down a couple times. And this other guy joined him and started doing like cartwheels and like handstands and like running up the stuff. It was so strange. He was taking it so seriously. And I sat like this the whole time trying not to laugh because everyone around him was taking it seriously. It was very awkward. And then for dinner, I have no idea. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Dan found, like, a very Swiss place. Apparently, like, rotisserie chicken. Grilled chicken is, like, very Swiss. So we went to a rotisserie chicken place. Um, got some chicken, got some potatoes, got some weird noodle stuff. Still haven't had my chocolate, but I've had two crepes, so. And we had a lava cake tonight. Oh, that's true. We did have a lava cake. Because we got a voucher for a drink from our hotel. So we came back to the hotel, watched sunset, got our drinks. Everybody got a lava cake. Arno and them shared. Robert and I did not share. Um, and then now we're headed to bed. Tomorrow, we're driving to... Chamonix. Chamonix in France. See? We oui. Where the Mont Blanc is. It's currently snowing there, right? Maybe, no, there's like just snow on top of the mountain. Oh. And so we're going to do some day hikes and such tomorrow. And there's a spa in the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to spa it up at Chamonix. And then we'll depart... We'll part ways from Dan and Arno on Monday morning. So we're trying to get all our snuggle time. So yeah, good first day. Say hi, Robert. Hello. Say hi, Dan. Hello. Say hi, Arno. This Can you see that tiny little person? 
right like there no you can't see them but that is part of the trail the mont blanc trail this tiny black dot moving that's what robert wanted me to do like a freaking psychopath Pasta, I would definitely cook my own last meal. Yeah. All right, Robert, what did we do today? Well, first things first, woke up early and went to the Geneva airport to get a car and drove back in, picked everyone up. Everyone was up eating breakfast upstairs. And then we got in the car and we headed off to the mountains. It was like perfect weather, not a cloud in the sky. It was great. Saw several waterfalls along Missed the way. Missed a few turns, but that's fine. We got there in one piece. Stopped at a... What we thought was like a street fair. Yeah, turns out it was just like a giant flea market. Of like not... Used yeah, things. but like not good flea market and not good hand-me-down clothes. It was like... Like there was really weird, nothing quality yeah, going yeah. on. Um, but the town was super cute and there were waterfalls like flying off the cliffs above the town. Which was really nice. Um, then we crossed into France. Yeah, I crossed into France, got into Chamonix, and staying at a delightful hotel. It's really nice, really cool, like kind of old vibes. It's, it's good. Right um, in the downtown area. Yeah. And Chamonix is my haven because they have a million outdoor stores that have all of these really cool, like all this really nice gear and everything. And it's my kryptonite. But we we walked around for a bit and then we were going to do some hiking on one of the part of the trail we we're going to do on the tour de mont blanc but the mountain office said that it's like very dangerous up there still at the moment because they haven't had any snow melt so we ended up taking a cable car up to one part and then we could hike like across. along the ridge kind of thing like across. halfway to the ridge line yeah yeah across and we have great views of looking at the uh, of the mont blanc range the whole time it was really nice um it was only two hours but we are all dead like I, yeah and then we, we had to come down, down. And we were like oh we can't do this like i my knees i could not have done mont blanc you know yeah and the we had to go down a lot but it was really nice and it was nice yeah and then we got back and we did a spa kind of thing with with Asana. Dan and Arno where we we like went well, down they were with they us had, on the hike too. Yeah. They had uh, a hot tub, a, a hot pool, tub, a pool in the hotel and then a steam room and sauna and so we all did that together and everything and uh we then went we went and had some Italian food and it was so good. We're I about 5 so miles sick. from the Swiss or from the Italian border so it was like really good Italian food. Um pizza. Yeah, pizza. It was good. And tomorrow we're going to go to Zermatt after hanging out with Dan and Arno in the morning. So yep. we'll keep you up. Very tired. <laughs> okay, so we forgot to check in yesterday. Yesterday we drove from Chamonix, France to Zermatt, Switzerland. Um, on the way, so we walked around a little bit in the morning and we got breakfast with Arno and Dan. We were all very sore from our hike and such. And Robert and I went to the spa for like a hot second in the morning, got breakfast with Dan and Arno. And then from there, we walked around town a bit. Robert wanted to go look at all the shops. And then we got in the car and drove, headed towards Zermatt. And on the way we saw a castle. So of course we took a little Yui, went to the castle, walked around. I think it was actually like a fortress and a baptistry or something um so we saw that quite old quite nice cobblestones then we drove and zermatt is actually a car free town so we actually instead of driving we had to drive to a train station and then get all of our stuff and train into zermatt and we got to zermatt we like walked around town because we got in at like 6 30 ish so we walked around town we took all our stuff to our airbnb ventured out and then we went and saw we got dinner so we waited in line for dinner y'all 
for like 45 minutes at this place because it looks really good. Then we waited for like 45 minutes to get food because we couldn't even order for the first like 30 minutes because the kitchen was full. And so we waited and waited and we got our food and I was looking at the menu and it said like, if you want non-alcoholic fondue, let us know. And I was like, what does that mean? Robert's like, oh, they probably just like put a little bit of beer or wine in there to like help it melt. And I was like, oh, okay, incorrect. They literally, it's just wine that has like a little bit of cheese in it. It was so gross. I was like crying because we'd waited so long to get this delicious food and it was like mediocre. My garlic soup was good, but it was just like we're off with garlic in it. Um, Robert got a schnitzel or something, a wiener dog, a wiener dog, <laughs> a sausage. Um, but so we were like, okay, fuck, I'm hungry. But everything closes here so early, like everything closes so early even food. So I was like, okay, well, what do we do? It's like 9.30. Nothing's open. By the time we finished eating, it was like 9.30. So the only thing that was open was the McDonald's. So I went and got some chicken nuggets and I got some French fries and we got a McFlurry because I'm like, I need some sustenance. And now of course my stomach is wrecked, but now we're on a walk. Um, but we went after that, we went and saw the the view of the city that was very night courtish. So mom and anyone who's read A Court of Thorns and Roses, it looks like Valeris. I didn't get to see it fully dark, but that's because in the winter it's pretty at dark time, but like at full dark, but during the summer, they don't have all the like lights on like they normally do for the winter time. So I took a lot of pictures in the evening, like with the sun setting and it was gorgeous. Um, and then now we've woken up early to go walk around the Matterhorn. So that was yesterday. Now we're on to today. We've made a choice. If this is the last video you ever see of us, this is why, because we made a choice. And we are going to walk to down there because we wanted to, and it's snowy a little bit. So it's supposed to not be, but you know what? We're just going for it. The paragliding instructor we talked to on the train said, oh yeah, you'll be fine. You've got shoes and water. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna do it from up there. Matterhorn, Robert, next stop's way down there. Wish us luck. All right, team, this is where we started, up there, where those people are. Made it thus far. There's the Matterhorn, there's Robert. There's the clouds rolling in. And we're going over this hill and then down. Wish us luck. What you doing, babe? Look at those clouds rolling in. Wow. They're like consuming the mountain. And then there's Robert, disturbing the peace. Oh, we came from over that hill. I don't, you can't see anymore. This is the view. The clouds are really rolling in. There's Robert. We can't see where we're going anymore because it's over that hill. And then we're going that direction for food because we have not eaten breakfast. Yay! Okay, we came from over there. Can't see where we came from anymore. We hiked and we hiked and we hiked. Dun, 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 dun. Now we're at this lake. It's frozen. So, no cool picture, but there's the Matterhorn. There's Robert. There are the tourists. Look, the clouds though are like gone. That was the lake. So, Matterhorn. We're going over there. Update! We can't even see where we came from. The lake was by that rock. We're headed to there for breakfast, but it's actually gonna be lunch. The Matterhorn! The Matterhorn! Still bright, shining bright like a diamond. You would think, oh, wow, you guys have really gone a long way. You must have been going miles and miles. Wrong. We've gone... Two and a half miles. Two and a half miles. That feels like a war. Very steep. Like a war crime. So anyway, we're going there for food. Okay, we just took the cog chain down to the Matterhorn. Now we're walking to a gondola station to get on a gondola to go to a glacier to get better views. Yay! This is our view from our gondola. We're about to get yeeted. About to get yeeted. We're headed up to the glacier paradise. Ready? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Meow. And up. Yippee! All for you, Matterhorn. All for you. Okay, this is our third gondola ride. The Matterhorn is covered by snow. There's skiers or not snow. There. There's skiers. See them skiing and snowboarding? We're going up to there. 
We don't know where the gondolas are going into those clouds. I feel clouds. like I'm in, like, in a Bond villain situation. Yeah, it's definitely giving off some villain vibes. Where were we last time? Over oh, there. Yeah. Over there somewhere, we think. We're not quite sure, actually. Yeah, over there. All the way over there, he says. So, anyway, this is where we're going. Look at those clouds. Okay. Okay. Huh? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Robert, I won't go. I'm pinching. Wait, what? I'm pinching go. Well, at this point, I'm inside. I'm stuck. I should have been pushed. Now I'm just stuck in the middle forever. And it's very cold. Ah, okay. Nope. Motherfucker, come on. Fucking slide. This will make you feel like a fat cow. You can't even slide down the ice side. Definitely get a push back there because I am just scooting. Okay, you're going to have to get back to it. Yeah, hold on. I'll tell you when I'm out. Just I'm scooting at the moment. Go. Yeah. Go. Yippee! All right, Robert's going down an ice slide. <laughs> tell me when you're ready, and I'll give you a push. Is it clear down there? All right. We're gonna take that as a yes. Ready? Oh shit. <laughs> We're in an ice cave, headed to the Glacier Palace. Say hi, Robert. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we finished our long hike, we made it to the train. We're celebrating with fondue. Okay, we had dinner. It was lovely, but we are so pooped that we were like falling asleep at the table. We had to just be like, all right, we're done. We can't eat anymore, we have to go to bed. The lady was like, are you done? And we're like, yes, we've died. And we were just talking about our trip up the mountain. I said, at some point, I really heavily considered bear crawling up the rest of it. She even looked at me. She's like, do you think it'd be okay if I went on my, like, hands and feet? <laughs> he was like, no. Uh, oh, all right. Never mind. Because it was straight up. Talk. It was, it was straight up. And we're, we're like sitting in the city center. And we can see the Matterhorn, and it's like, oh, oh, they four hours, you know. There's no way you have to go over a mountain In range. Incorrect. Incorrect. The time's here. Insane. Walking up that trail to get to the long bridge, suspension bridge thing, it would be like, oh. And none of them ever made sense. It was like, you are one hour from the bridge. And then the next sign, like two minutes later, would be like, you are 46 minutes from the bridge. Ooh, wait. You are 13 minutes Let's from see. the bridge. 30,461 30, steps, according to And I have 34,000 because I have little legs. Um, also, you know, your phone tells you like, oh, you have recovery time. Not your phone, your watch, like my watch will tell me, you have recovery time man. of like four hours or whatever. My recovery time after this hike was 95 hours. <laughs> 95. Well, That's four months. days. Robert's is 13. Mine's 95. I've never seen something like that. That's like four days. <laughs> I was like, well, that's unfortunate because we're doing stuff tomorrow. Bye. We're headed somewhere else. Bye, Bye. Matterhorn. My love. Okay, so last night we came back from our long hike where we went straight uphill for that suspension bridge. Yeah. We ate dinner and we fell asleep. Well, we came, we had uh, fondue without wine this time. Not much alcohol. better, much better. And then we got cordon bleu and a whole, a whole roast chicken. chicken, but it was small, it was like a pigeon yeah. size. Um, and we both like kind of fell asleep at the table, so we went back and went to bed. And now we're on a train, it's like 8 30 in the morning. We woke up at 7, ate some brekkie at the house. And Cooked some eggs and everything. Some eggs and Took everything. us about an hour to find the utensils. Yeah, the utensils were under the stove. What? Under the oven, not the stove. Um, and then now we're on a train to go back to our car and continue our adventure to some other place. Okay, so the, we're getting on a train with our car, we think. We're not quite sure. None of it's in English. We got this information packet. I don't. This packet, it's piece of paper. So, 
Wish us luck. Well, here we are on to the cattle cars of car. Robert just almost missed the whole fucking thing. Yeah, I missed this whole thing. In the bathroom. Yeah. All right, we're on our journey. Robert is actually in the car, so that's good. I've already given him, I've already chewed him out twice. He's got a whole new butthole. I just ripped it right open. How dare he go take a poo when we're trying to go on a boat, uh, not even a boat, a train, a car train. So, Water and tunnel. to go into a tunnel. Update soon. <laughs> We're taking a gondola up to the Via Arpata. Say hi. We just went on that rock face. Is it waterfall? This is where we are. Dun, 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 dun. Got more to go, but this is us. Super nice. There's this waterfall in the background there with rainbow colors. <laughs> Pretty cool. Say hi guys. Hi guys. Hello. Say hi. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, I am. Okay, so we finished the Via Ferrata. We took the cable car back up to Murin. Now we're hiking. We don't really know where uphill we think. Say hi Robert. We're gonna go see a waterfall. How do you feel about the Via Ferrata? It again? Amazing. It was quite nice. Look at all these beautiful wildflowers and this wild child. Perf. What? It rained on us since slipped back. We went and saw a waterfall, gondola down, and and we're gonna try to eat some food before we stay in our hostel tonight. We are pooped, and it is 8:15. The video is it? Nothing says mac and cheese like a pickle and an onion and whatever else that is. Checking in. Uh, last night it rained on us on our way down the mountain from the waterfall. Poured. We ran and we thought we were missing the last train. Turns out the last train wasn't for another 30 minutes, so we had plenty of time. Took the last train down to Lauter Vernon. We walked under the waterfall, though. That was really cool. We did. We did walk under the waterfall. And then we. Tons of wildflowers and water buffalo. Water buffalo. Everybody's got a water buffalo. Not as fast. Yours is slow. And then we ate dinner, which was mediocre. And then we just crashed at our hostel. We were pooped. Uh, and now we're waiting for a gondola to go paragliding. There's Robert. It's kind of nice. Okay, we just paraglided and it was incredible. I mean, like, actually, I'm sad because it's over and <laughs> I am going to be chasing that high for the rest of my life. They let us fly. They let us do, like, they call it the roller coaster and we did flips in the air of the parachute. And he was like, do you feel it in your in your stomach? And I was like, uh, sir, I feel it in my toes. Like, it is tingly down there. 
Anywho, now we're walking along this river and I'm screaming because there's this glacial river. Super ugly. Um, but the rest of the forest is nice. And we're walking to go look at a waterfall that's apparently like in a cave or something. And then we'll walk back to Lauterbrunnen. That's like an eight kilometer hike or something. Or, or walk. Fishing land here then. Right. And then we might do the Schlingenplatz after we eat lunch because I need lunch. Okay, that's all. What is lunch? <laughs> We're taking a funicula up to a waterfall. Okay, so we saw these waterfalls. You'll see the picture, the videos. It's hard to explain. There's a lot of them. This one. There's this one. And we just saw people jumping from where we were hiking yesterday. Like, like jumping. They just jumped off the mountain face. And you'll see the video of that too. But now we're walking back and we were going to go up to this mountain. Here, I'll see if I can show it to you. Oh, you can't see it, it's missing. So it's because the clouds have rolled in. So we're gonna see once we get on Wi-Fi what exactly we can do it. It rained on us this morning. It rained on us hard yesterday. We're gonna see maybe about going to a different town and bike riding or something. Maybe we should look a bit more presentable. That little tiny braids. Anyway, we'll see what we end up doing. Okay, we're on a train to our next adventure. We're going to hike the tallest, I mean, hike yeah. two, the tallest suspension bridge in Switzerland. Apparently, it takes 10 minutes to cross, and it's gonna have to be a lightning oh. incursion. Because uh, last train's at 7:54. Last train's at 7:54. It takes roughly four hours, and we're not getting there until four o'clock. So, we just look. The thing said you'll be going up way the whole time, and it wasn't kidding. We've climbed like we're not even to a kilometer yet. We're going for 17 minutes. It is all uphill, and yes, it sounds like I've run a marathon because I feel like I have. Anywho, there's a mountain. Wish us luck. I'm just trying to find waypoints at this point, like that stump. There. Okay, we just hiked these beautiful woods. Stunning, spectacular. It's been a while, a good bit. We're coming to this sign and through the trees. Dun -da -da -da, the longest suspension bridge in Switzerland. Highest. Highest and longest in Switzerland. In Europe. Oh, in Europe. Let's go across. Dad, this one's for you. Okay, Dad. Here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Don't say that. We're already wiggling. There's Robert. Here's our view so far. We're like not even halfway. Online it says, oh, it could take you 10 minutes to cross it. I don't know about that. You can hear running water, which means we're rivers coming up. Look at that. I mean, look, look at down, that. Straight down. Oh, through the... Walking, walking, walking. Do, 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 do. We are not even halfway, so I think I'll turn the camera off because it feels like a waste of time for you to watch me cross a bridge. But anyway, there's a helicopter and we're taller than it. Oh, you can't see it. It's over there, though. Anyway, this is us. Like here, and you're straight down. Go, go like to me if you like straight down. Yeah, right. It's on. Look at this great view and look how high we are. Ding! You can't even really tell how high we are. Yeah, we're like a few hundred feet in the air. That's how far we have left to go. That's how far we've been. Let's just look. That's what we just did. 
And we're done. It only took us, Robert, how long did it take us? Nine minutes and 30 seconds. Nine, haha, -ha, we beat the 10 minute time. Now we're done and we're gonna go, hopefully, down. Not up. We did the bridge. We hiked through those woods. You can barely see the bridge up there. Look how beautiful all these wildflowers are. Say hi, Robert. Wow. We made it down. And actually before 7.30. So now we are waiting for the train at the train station. It was a brutal hike. Everything hurts. The bridge is cool, as you saw, but I am ready to eat and go to sleep. Laza, you're about to see a church that was built just for you. Here it comes. Boom, it's hot pink. Well, actually more pastel pink, but boom, pink church. Please look at our hotel room. The walls sparkle. There's this thing. A jacuzzi tub. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, we have a nice view of the old clock tower and everything. This nice little square. Our last two nights in Switzerland. Now we're going up into a tower, up into the ramparts of the city. Let's see what we see. Here we are on the ramparts. Overall, I would say underwhelmed. Mm -hmm. You agree? Yeah. Yeah. Also, we just went to the Pablo Picasso Art Museum because this guy who's Swiss was like BFFs with him. So we got a bunch of artwork for free. So he just donated it, made it into a museum. It's Robert's drive, not really mine. Anyway, it's raining and my hair is curling out the wazoo. Robert, how'd you feel about the museum? It was amazing. Amazing. Cubist, impressionist, the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. Okay, we just ate like kind of lunch. It's like 4 p.m. And we're gonna go on this walk called Schleifelflower. <laughs> and it's windy. And it's raining. Robert, show the view. Oh, wow. So, you know, fingers crossed. Look at my hair. <laughs> look like a man. We come here to Switzerland, see the beautiful views. But LAB, no. She comes with the slides. hiking this trail we just hiked all the way up there and now we're going back to the cable or the train okay so last night we went and saw luke and kate and her met her family for drinks and then the four of us just us and luke and kate went to din din at a little restaurant and walked around got dessert chatted we were together for like four hours which was good because it was nice it was weird that we got to see them when we were here um, yeah, it was a good halfway point. And this, we went to sleep this morning, we woke up with a bit of a sore throat. Now we're chasing down the sound of music. Not like the music, but you hear it. And uh, then we're gonna get breakfast. We're doing a self-guided chocolate tour, AKA every chocolate shop we come to. We're getting a chocolate each and we're gonna share. So here's our first store. Oh my God, there's a chocolate store right there. Here's our, uh oh, here's our first chocolates. Mine's caramel, Robert's is praline. Cheers. Let's see. Huh. Hmm. I don't want praline. Not terrible. Okay. Okay, we paused our chocolate tasting tour yesterday because <coughs> we weren't hungry. And so we had our first round and then we were like, oh, we're actually not hungry for chocolate. So we're doing it again. We've started over. This time we're gonna get all the chocolate first and then try them in our hotel room. 
we think that'll be a better round than like trying to walk and eat because we were like, oh, we'll stop at every chocolate shop we see. And there was like 12. So we're gonna get all the chocolate first and then we're gonna go eat it. So here we go. Let's go. All right, our first chocolate of the day was for supporting do, orphans do, and do, women do, in war-torn areas. Is it good? Okay. First stop, this do, place do, 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 had tour guides stopping. We got our one chocolate, do, we're off and stop too. Do, 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 do. Do, do, it's just started raining. Do, 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 do. world of chocolate. Our lens got our chocolate. Maybe two. We haven't decided. Oh, okay. I do that. 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 I do all right, we're gonna try our chocolates. Getting, did you get the lens one? The lens yeah. one. Where is it? No, it's over there. We're gonna try all of our chocolates. We did it, we're doing it on the bed because we're feeling quite lazy today. Um, and it's raining, so it sounds like water everywhere. We only got four? We have five. Yeah. All right, so this one's last because I know I like it, so. We tried the other one yesterday. And we tried the other one yesterday. So let's start with the first one we got. We said it was caramel. Mm-hmm. Right, we think? I think. Okay, we're each going to have a half. It says 42% on the top. I don't know what that means, though. So. Where's Bailey's? No. Where's the Bailey's. Oh, it's just milk chocolate. Oh. Ooh, that was good. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice. It, the middle was, like, creamy. Wow. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you tasting? What are you tasting? Oh yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh. Er herbal, herbal taste essences. Um, That's a shout out to anyone who's seen the I the famous ice cream maker movie or ice cream taster. Yeah, he yeah. goes. Yeah. Um, it's a commercial. Did you? What would you rate that one? That was pretty strong. Yeah, that like was an a eight. Start, yeah. good starter. This one's also milk chocolate, so we should go ahead and do it because it's the same thing. I love these. I like to break them in half and then get the side that has all the chocolate in it. What in the? Lind, Lint, Lindor. Mm. It's hard to be a Lindor chocolate. This one melts. The other one was better. Mm -mm. 10 out of 10. Mm -mm. 10 out of 10. Yeah, because it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It tastes too commercially. Mm. I love a good commercial. The other one had was like quite rich. Lindor ugly. All right, do you want to do the caramel one next? And we'll end with Bailey's? Yeah. This no, let's end soft. with Bailey's. Let's end with Bailey's. And, no, let's end with caramel. I mean. Ah. Okay. You do the bite. I'll have the rest. I want, a, I I want like the littler Bailey's. side. I like Bailey's. Ooh, this one has like an inside that is soft too. Okay. Oh my goodness. Might have to have someone drive us home after that. Oh my god. No, it's straight liquor. I don't have. I don't know how to swallow it. I don't know how to swallow it. I don't know how to swallow it. Just go for it. It's like a shot. I can't. I think my keys. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Robert, it keeps exploding in my mouth. Swallow it. I can't. I'm stuck in my mouth. Suck, swallow. Ew. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're ending with the salted oh, caramel. Christ. My nose is watering. Ah. Ah. You wanna go like re re um uh, this one make it My taste tongue better. is like tingling. God, that was awful. Okay. This one's salted caramel. What's in the middle? Robert. Oh. No? It's a bit aggressive? But it's not bad. Mm -hmm. 
this one's still my favorite. No, the first, the first one. Milk chocolate all the way. But no, I didn't like the lint. Mm. My favorite's lint. It tasted like something you would just get at a gas station. You do get it at a gas station because it's so good. No. Okay, so milk chocolate from the very first place is our favorite. Yeah. All right, there you have it, folks. Max and Company in Lucerne, Switzerland has the best milk chocolate. Really chocolate at all. Don't get the Baileys. Okay. Bye. I hope they can hear that music. There's musician. Okay, so during the rainstorm, I took a snooze and Robert did some riding and listening to some tunage. Um, my hair looks gross. Now we're on the hunt for a like adapter. Kind of adapter because ours is for Europe, but Switzerland is, doesn't count. They have like their own smaller version of it. So we're on the hunt because our computers are dying. We've made it this far, but. But we just want, might as well have one. Also, um, we're trying to upload some vlogs for Bali since we did that during the rainstorm too. I'm sure you guys would love to see them. So we need an adapter and then we're gonna go to get some dinner. The rain has stopped, which is lovely. It's very cold though, um, but we are exhausted and we have a long day of driving tomorrow. So wish us luck. All right, we've made it. We're going back to the train station to catch a train. Back to our Airbnb. Train station. All right, we just had our delicious last dinner in Geneva. Nope. Nope, not Geneva. Last dinner in Switzerland. Lucerne. In Lucerne. We had dessert afterwards. Headed back to the hotel to pack up and everything. It's, what time is it, Robert? It's 7.54. 7.54. We are plum tired. Look at this beautiful building. So we're gonna go pack up and kind of get ourselves ready for tomorrow. We've got a long journey tomorrow. So last night, turn up. It is 6.40 p.m., 6.37 to be exact. And the grocery stores, pharmacies, everything is closed. And it is extremely inconvenient. And I understand that like, oh, you know, we don't have to work late. Oh, you know, it's better quality of life because nobody's working late hours. Um, it is not a better quality of life for me when I need something from the grocery store and the grocery store is closed at 6.37. What if I was cooking dinner and I forgot like the asparagus or like the salt? Oh well, no salt for me. All right, so last night we had our dessert and then we came back to the hotel and packed up and went to bed, watched like a TV show and went to bed and we were pooped. Today we're hoping the toboggan is open. It says if anything's wet though it can't be and it's pretty wet right now outside so fingers crossed on that one. We're headed to breakfast. Um, the old towns I guess we've decided or just in general this one nothing is open till like 10 p.m. 10 a.m. but for some reason it is so noisy. People stay awake for so long even though everything's closed and then they started like picking up trash at five in the morning and then they did construction at seven in the morning on a Sunday and so we haven't really slept very much in this lovely town. We're a bit tired. Um, unfortunately, our day is quite long. We have a lot of driving to do. We'll get out a couple times and walk around, but uh, then we catch a flight at 9 p.m. back to, to Dubai, and that's uh, five in the morning arrival time. So here we go, start of our journey home. There's a new Mile Pony movie coming out in five weeks. How excited are you? Okay, we did the toboggan. Look at Robert's hair. And now we're headed to Bern. B E R N. Bern. Bern. Uh, to eat lunch and to walk around. It's apparently like a quote cute city and whatever. And then we'll go to the airport. We've got a lot of driving. Two hours to Bern, three hours to the airport. So wish us luck. Oh. Okay, we did our pit stop in Bern. We saw like the church, which was under construction. Classic. Then we stopped at a lovely restaurant, that one, to eat lunch. And now we're running back to our car to drive three hours to the airport. So Bern, you've been lovely. We're off to the airport. We're in the airport. Our meals. Like everything else in Switzerland, the lounges closed at six, which wasn't great since we got here at seven. So. We're eating just peasant food. 
Godspeed. Okay, we sprinted to our flight. I'm sweating. And almost, uh, missed it. almost literally. Last people on the plane. And uh, yeah, now we're headed back to Dubai. <laughs>